Hi class, in this chapter we will be trying to find a cheap booster cookie alternative. Now first let's break down some of the abilities of the booster cookie. The first two effects are specific to the booster cookie so it's not possible to replicate them. Now when someone talks about keeping coins on death, everyone's item recommendation is probably gonna be the piggy bank. And yes, it prevents you from losing coins on death. But you'll still lose your god potion if you have one, meaning each death will cost you over a million coins. So we need to find an item that will protect us from losing coins on death. Now the first item that came into my mind was the remnant of the eye. But from my tests, I found two major problems. Firstly, it only works in the end, meaning it is useless everywhere else. And most people only go there to do void looms, but it doesn't even work in the sepulchre, meaning it's completely useless against void looms. So unless you're dying to regular endermen, there's no need to use this item. So was this the end? Isn't there a single item that can help me fulfill my dreams? of getting on TLC. Well, turns out there is an old relic of the past. I'm talking about the saving grace item. It TPs you back before you die, meaning you probably won't lose your coins or your god potion. So I decided to craft it and test it out. To test it, I consumed a god And yes, it does work. Both my coins and god potion were still intact. Now, I decided to test this item a few more times, as this was known to be really buggy in the past. But I didn't have enough apples, so I decided to get some. Now, the best way to get apples is by using a sweet axe. Also, there's a secret strat that allows you to get a bunch of apples really easily. All you need to do is swap between the tree capitator and the sweet axe, and you can get up. Wait, what? Now after seeing the zero apples, I thought maybe the bug has been patched and you can no longer axe swap. So I just used my sweet axe and... And I still didn't get a single apple. But why was this happening to me? I was dealing over 200k damage with my fist. I was constantly getting kicked from iPixel. And my sweet axe wasn't even working. What did this mean? Well, the 200k damage was from my guardian. I pixel was literally dying for everyone. And I had silk touch on my sweet axe. Now I had two major questions related to the saving grace. Does this work in the Crimson Isles? And yes, it does. And what happens when I have multiple saving graces in my inventory? Well, all of them get consumed. So yeah, it does work. I'm not liable for any box with this item. If you lose your coins while holding this item, just cross out the admins and move on. I would recommend having a piggy bank in your inventory just in case. Also, I'm talking really fast lol. Well, that was a long segment. Now we have the flying on your private island ability. Now you can spend over 90 mil on a phoenix. Or you can try some more shrooms. You can use this item called the mystical mushroom soup. And if you spend around 200k coins, you can get permafly for 4 days straight. You know, just in case. Yep, that was a shot. Don't you dare. Now the next thing is accessing the auction house and bazaar from anywhere. Now I gotta be honest with you, you can't access the bazaar from anywhere you like. But you can access the auction house using the NU mod as it has its own auction house. And if you're fancy like me, you can use various discord servers with bots that can find the lowest price an item is going for, like the Kudra Gang discord. Now the final ability is the accessing bags command. Click a few buttons you leave. If you watch the video, please like it. If you want to watch more videos, like it. If you want to watch more videos, please like it. If you want to watch more videos, please like it. If you want to watch more videos, please like it.